Hey everybody, Christopher Ride here. I know it's a little late, but better late than never, I always say. I'm gonna play through the Lightbearer DLC for We Happy Few, and I'm pretty excited to get back into this world. From my understanding, this DLC is pretty lighthearted and uh, focusing on Nick Lightbearer rocking out, using his guitar to like fight enemies or something. But like you're playing tunes, it really, sounds really weird, but I think we'll be in for a pretty cool ride. I don't think it's really long, so probably two to three episodes would be my guess. But uh, I'm excited to jump back in here. Now, I also heard a while back that We All Fall Down is releasing soon. I'm going to try to jump on that as soon as it happens. Uh, but thank you guys for your patience. We are going to start Lightbearer now. We had fun last Is that night. Blood eh? or <laughs> top of the fucking morning to you too. <laughs> what? Virgil? Uh, am I hallucinating that you're a rat? Or is there a real rat that I'm hallucinating is my agent? Ex-agent. <laughs> or did you forget sacking me? Sir! Oh shit. Your room is leaking! You're not forgetting Jeez. anything else, are you? Well, I just need some reds and yellows. That'll get my head clear. You picked a rotten night to black out. Sir! I'm afraid I must insist on a damage fee. I'd leg it if I were you, Lamb Chop. I need you all in one piece today. Shh, 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 shh. I just need to think. Is is, is this blood? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Who's blood, that is? Fuck's sake, Nicky! Oh, I can't remember last night. My head's all... Oh, foggy. See why I tell you to write things down, eh? Oh, I know. If you can't remember, you're not responsible. When did I write these? Please have written words that make sense. If you will not jump it up, I shall be obliged to summon the constabulary. Okay, I'm stressed. Oh, bugger. Oh, buggery, buggery Jesus on a buggery bike. I need you to set things right. Virgil. Virgil! So, are we hallucinating that? You received a note, alarming oh, lyrics, that is to your journal. But not without my, my pills and gear. To find our guitar amp. Okay, so, umpteenth nervous breakdown. Electric guitar is no good without an amp. I vaguely remember trying to electrocute a spider in the loo with it. Okay, this is probably in the bathroom. Here's the lyrics. It's all or nothing. Now I know what to do. Foggy head. Now he's dead. Quarter to two. Grass on my shoes? Ooh. Look at this. This is typical YouTuber lifestyle. I resonate with this so hard. This is my average Tuesday night. Nick Love, I've had the hotel staff install a double top secret escape hatch for you to get away from fans discreetly. I know your memory is beans on toast these days. I do resonate with the memory part. So I asked them to make your suds tap be the hatch lever. I'm sure you'll be pulling on that anyway. Virgil. Oh, and for Christ's sakes, don't spill the beans on this to the next wide-eyed group you bring home. This is a secret passageway. Emphasis on secret. Okay, so suds tap. So our sink... Everything leads to the bathroom. Jeez. Marry me again, Nick? Oh, it's a bit soggy. Can we... I just stole my good one. <laughs> Useless. God, Nick, he's, been, he's dealing with problems, man. Maybe if I vibe my guitar, I'll remember where I put my goodies. Yeah, let's vibe the guitar. Your guitar knows things. Tap right mouse button to use it to vibe the environment for clues. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> down the hatch. <laughs> down the drug stash. Okay. That's so cool. Look at the same. What? The? Okay, so it said it was the suds tap. Uh, my suite has an escape hatch somewhere to sneak out without fangs seeing. I think. Not the bathroom tap, maybe. What the? Oh, here, look. Okay, maybe it's just these guys? Ah. Oh, I was right. Okay, it's the beer taps. I was right on the th on the third guess. <laughs> sure. My dear Nick Lightbearer, you were smashing last night. <laughs> that was quite a show. Hope your head's not in too much of a fog this morning, but don't worry. I won't hold it against you. I remain your biggest fan. Why is that in here? Let me go ahead and assume... Everything bad for you is good for Nick. Coffee, drugs, and liquor will replenish your health bar. <laughs> Why is that letter in here? Oh, God. A groupie. We didn't keep it a secret. Nick Lightbearer! My hero! What, what day is it? Uh, Friday? Uh, Tuesday? I mean, oh, come on, they all end in day. I've been stuck up here for ages. Beastly hotel manager wouldn't let me go up to your room the regular way. Can you give me a tug? <laughs> Look, um, I don't mean to be unhelpful, um, My but... Oh, <laughs> God, you're covered in blood. Am I? Oh, um, uh, well, I <laughs> must be the li lipstick. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the fans do get carried away with their kisses, don't they? Um, uh, sorry, I really do have to dash. But you you will send help. To get me out of here. Oh, yeah, you? for sure. Oh, uh, absolutely. Love, yes, of course, love. Um, anything for a fan? <laughs> See ya. I can't let the manager find me covered in blood when I don't even know whose it is. Jeez. Attention, guests. The hotel is a bit overrun with Nick fans at the moment. Please stay in your room while constables take control of the situation. Fan club weekend. Thank you. So all that stuff in the bottom there is for healing. I don't know if they're going to have other side effects or not. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I better not try any more stage diving unless I really want to get hurt. And I don't. I hate being hurt. Oh. How do people ever stay awake before we invented coffee? Oh, I wonder if I could have taken that. Look at them, they're doing a good job, actually. Security, that is. Face melt. Tap left mouse button to blow mines with a monster face melt rift. <laughs> Riff. Each strike will reduce your guitar battery. You can block attacks by hitting right mouse to vibe. Successful vibe blocks will recharge your guitar and leave your fans awestruck and more vulnerable to regular attacks. Okay. You got oh, that worked. Yep. Oh, I see. <laughs> then we have like the meter in the bottom. <laughs> Mind blown. Yeah. That's good. Laundry room? Sure. Bucker, I'll need to find a power cell. Nick fan convention events. Friday, enter the guest Nick's favorite color contest. Previous year's winners who guessed purple are disqualified from participating again. Saturday, last chance to buy a ticket for the win a date with Nick contest. Sunday, the Nick Lightbearer lookalike contest will now take place in the hotel bar. False mustaches and Nick wigs are available in the gift shop. Note is strictly forbidden to seduce or propose a marriage while dressed as Nick lookalike. Ladies, if you feel you have inadvertently married a Nick lookalike, please consult the management. Wild.
Uh, oh, I see. Okay, okay. Okay. Scotch, yes, yeah, please. A bellboy key. Now I can sneak into other rooms. We saw that room. Naughty Nikki. I'd better get those vents open again if I want to travel around incognito. Man, look at these guys go all out. Ah, oh, this bird has a power cell. <laughs> I wonder what she uses it for. Let's have one of our coffees here. Feel somewhat more vigorous. Okay, so we do have other side effects. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Let's go. There has to be a perfectly innocent reason why a man might wake up covered in blood and not remember. I'm hoping it turns out to be like paint. Does Lamb oh, Jesus. have a guilty conscience? Wages of sin got you down. <laughs> that solves that mystery. Hallucinating. Probably in withdrawal. Lost in Space by Barry Bangs, Chief Record Critic, Okron Weekender. Call it the influence of chemicals or the heady effects of fame or just a simple lack of ideas, but Nick Lightbearer's latest hi-fi cabinet-crushing octuple LP is a sprawling psychedelic mush. The eight records feature an inordinate use of sitar in what appears to be a glockenspiel. This will prove daunting for even the most dedicated Nicky maniac. Many observers, this correspondent included, have wondered if it's long past time that Mr. Lightbearer puts aside his guitar. One suspects that his manager, Virgil Dainty, was the real brains behind Nick's early success. Interesting. Since the two are reportedly at odds these days, one trembles at the future of our hometown music industry. Oh, some drama. Everyone's a critic. Pause Especially the game at any time to see guitar controls. I think we got it. Lion <laughs> Okay, so we, we pretty much get a full recharge. Oh, jeez. Let's take a joy pill. Yeah, that doesn't... All that does is give us health, which is nice. Only three pills at a time. Ugh. That won't last me until breakfast. <laughs> do, do I eat breakfast? We sh probably should. I like how these things are like supposed to be hints where they just point to the most obvious thing. Too many people know me here. I mean, basically everyone. Yeah, life's hard, dude. Nothing to see here. Call BS. Upgrade serenade. I do prefer to keep the ladies at bay with their So hold serenade. <laughs> right mouse button to serenade fans, stopping them in their tracks, serenade them long enough, and they'll fall all over each other trying to defend you. Oh, hell yeah. They're having fun in there. Oh, cool. I'm just on my way out. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. Listen. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who had to make those sounds. No, I don't actually. No, no, I don't. Uh, are we cool with her? I guess we're cool with her. Jeez, these guys are having a good time at least. That's good. This is actually really clever and really fun. I wonder, like, I wonder where the story is going to go, though. Royston Luckenbill reminds the public that the alleged murderer 
known as Foggy Jack, does not exist. No, Foggy Jack. he's just a fairy tale, states Inspector Luckinbill, and we all know how horrible those are. <laughs> there are definitely no victims found in the street in the morning with certain uh, organs surgically removed. No. And even if there were, even if there were, what on earth were those people going out to dark, eh? Everyone except the cuts should be at home listening to Uncle Jack's bedtime stories. Girls and girls uh, just running carelessly. Give me all the cars. Oh, yes, well, as we all know, one can't be so careful doing arts I and crafts, can one? We made you... I wanted to kind of hear that, but... Fine, ladies. You don't know me yet, but I'm your biggest fan. Oh, my darling Foggy Jack. What? Pervy fan mail. The authorities say you don't exist, but you and I know better, don't we? You cut such a dashing figure in the fog. Not that I've ever seen you, but I long to. In my fantasy, you're following me in the foggy night, cleaver in hand, imagining all the wicked things you'll do to me. I'm walking just ahead, hearing your soft footfalls, thrilled by a little frisson of terror. But I know that when you look into my eyes, you'll see that we're soulmates. You'll take me into your strong arms, stroke my cheek gently with your cleaver, and tell me you've never hurt me because I'm special. I'm the one. Oh, my dearest, you can find me at the Nick Lightbearer Convention. I go walking after midnight, hoping we'll cross paths. Till then, all my love, Marianne Dashwood. We have the best fans. We really do. Thank you. Life of a rock star. Garbage shoot. Let's Watching go. Watching favors the bold. Try not to hurt too many of your fans. It's not like you have that many left. Come on. We're we doing all right. Just find a quiet place to clean up and think. Home. I just need to go home. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be easy. Thank you. We're a lefty, I just realized. That's pretty rare in the guitar world. I like that, though. No Nick fans. I want to be in there anyways. Cool. You can't ignore me. Hey. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting it. We're getting it. I like when you're uh, doing the, the mind control thing. It kind of actually plays a tune. And when you're, like, spamming the button, it does seem like it's stringing together some coherent notes. Albeit not perfect. That looks chancy. It does look chancy. Shake a leg. Play us one of your old songs. That reminds me of a time I was at a concert for a band called Thornley. Oh, the fun parts of sound, yeah. And uh, there was a there's the main the lead singer is Ian Thornley. He was from a band called uh, Big Wreck, and they had a song in Big Wreck called Ladylike, which was really really cool and really unique. It had like a banjo at the start, but then kind of went to like this heavy rock song. Anyways, my buddy and I were like, "Hey, can you play?" Uh, we are like, in the crowd, we are like, play ladylike, play ladylike. And so Ian Thornley calls us out, and he's like, guys, I'm not going to play a song from a washed up band. <laughs> it's just this old band. It's like, that's not happening. We were like, okay, cool, thanks. Good chat. It was embarrassing. <laughs> Attack me. <laughs> How do I deal with him if he's not going to attack? 
Oh, hold on. Hey, hey! Whoa! Okay, okay, so that's their thing. And my guitar does refill on its own over time. All right, cool, 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 cool. I was wondering how that would work. So we don't have to be too, like... We don't have to be too worried about it. If we run out. Yeah, baby! Give it to me! <laughs> yeah, baby. Man, this is just like when I... This is like every time I go grocery shopping. I don't suppose... My house. My house is the museum? Wait. I forgot to tell you the punchline. Oh, oh look at this. You're not <laughs> Harry. Wayne and Garth. Wayne's world. That's that's awesome. I just want to see if we have anything else happening here. That's cool. I have all your records. Oh, hello. Strange fan letter? Dear Nick, I've insight into you. Fans don't want to know the real you, do they? They're always a bit disappointed when they meet you in person, aren't they? When you fall short of their dreams, perhaps that's why you reach for pick-me-ups so often these days. It must hurt to see them shun your new music. It's almost as if you'll disappear without fans' love, isn't it? Ugh. But then, you got them in the dark. But when you got them in the dark, then you'll have their full attention? Oh my, yes. Okay. So... I guess the idea is that maybe we... One of your old songs, Nick. <laughs> That's awesome. This one's like, I don't know. Uh, the idea here is that maybe we are the, uh, the murderer running around at night. Mm. Hence the Just blood. Just a quick nip to quieten the old nerves. <laughs> see you, Garth. See you, Wayne. Welcome to the Nick Lightbearer Museum. Wait. That voice. The museum is an exact replica of Nick's own house. Okay, so what? Decree of divorce. Uh oh, Mr. Norbert Pickles versus Mrs. Norbert Pickles? What the hell? Mrs. Norbert Pickles, see Petunia Penny, has brought forth a petition for the dissolution of marriage to Norbert Pickles. Oh! That's my real name. Norbert Pickles. A.K.A. Nick Lightbearer. I wonder if... I don't know if we knew that from the base game. Citing as cause irreconcilable differences caused by, but not limited to, Mr. Pickles adultery, substance abuse, mild, frequent violation of local bylaws regarding noise pollution, substance abuse, moderate, alienation of affections, mental incapacity at the time of marriage, mental incapacity prior to marriage, improper treatment of groupies, alleged induced Stockholm syndrome, substance abuse heavy, bigamy, unintentional, polygamy, intentional, substance abuse grievous, impotence, severe, and how he's always shrieking about the house because he blew his eardrums out on stage every single night. Court finds that Mrs. Pickles is therefore entitled to a decree of dissolution for marriage. The court also finds that Mrs. Pickles is entitled to a fair share of Mr. Norbert Pickles' assets. Due to compounding factors not limited to emotional estrangement, verbal hand-picking, enforced proximity to terrible substances, frequent state of disrobery, unseemly, unseemly shenanigans, and continued exposure to the sounds of poorly received late career albums. We calculate her entitlement to be no less than 90% of his earnings, past, present, future, is therefore ordered. Holy frick. She went to town. Read a new Nick song. Goodness knows he needs one. Yeah. Nick's gold records have been lovingly restored. I wonder if these would make good weapons. Oh, really? Might come in handy. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. So F launches records. 
Pickles, you bastard, you utter wanker. I knew it. I knew it from the moment I walked into my very first audition. I could see it in your eyes. Envy. Oh, and you'd had that, your little spot of success on your own with your little beat combo, but inhaled the unmistakable stench of my talent, my effortless confidence, and it terrified you. I knew at some point your inferiority complex would come squirming out into the light, and so I read today in the vulgar music broadsheets, no less, that you're giving me the sack. Don't have the stones to tell me to my face, do ya? Or did you? Well, the last on you, mate. Your worst fears are about to be realized. I'll outshine you as a solo act. Just you wait. Mori memento. Goodbye, bloody suit. The museum is accurate down to the smallest detail, including Nick's stash of drugs. <laughs> no mustache! Where is it? I imagine it would be in like a bedroom or something. I mean, if I had a drug stash, where would it be? Oh. I wonder if those are like contextual, like if they change based on what our objective is. Virgil Dainty, rock agent to the star. Virgil discovered him. Nick was writing Ponzi poetry. Virgil molded him into someone people liked. As long as they didn't actually get to know Nick. Former bandmate Mori M Memento, the guy we saw for the note we read upstairs. Nick was happy to sell out and abandon his old friends. He likes the attention and the birds. Can't all have artistic integrity. Mr. Dainty has become even more indispensable to recent in recent months, making excuses for Nick's cancelled concerts and increasingly numerous absences due to exhaustion. We're sure there is a story there, but Mr. Dainty loyally ensures that we will never find out. Okay, he's like, oh, look, this is open. Here we go. If Nick... Take Nick's drugs if he left you any. Oh. Pretty unlikely. Oh, cool. I wonder what these oh, they're are. up here. Won't know until it's open. Super secret stash. After all these years... Uh oh Petunia? You haven't found a new hobby. The Why X. in my house? Oh. We didn't get married again, did we? Do you try to keep up with the class, love? Oh, right, yes. It's a museum. <laughs> to me. <laughs> Why are you here? I'm in charge. Might as well get something out of the marriage. <laughs> Besides, who knows more about you? Fair. Didn't you always say you wanted your fans to know the real Nick? You always knew how to make me feel small. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's happening? Did she do something to the drugs? Those pills made me small. <laughs> what? Oh, how did I end up here? <laughs> uh, I get it. I'm, I'm high. high. That's awesome. Oh, this is crazy. 